Hi, Master Garino here. How you doing? Today we're going to give you a lesson on belt tying. Um, remember that we're tying our belt for specifically for our school, but many schools do it the same way. However, check with your instructor to make sure they tie, belt, tie the belt the same way that we do so that you can also tie the belt properly. First of all, when you do it at our school for Master Garino's Pilsung Taekwondo, you want to make sure that you split the belt in half and you want to have two even ends. Then you take the middle section and you put it on your belly button so that it's nice and snug up against there and you bring it around underneath both arms. What you want to do is make sure you bring it around both arms and then you're going to have to do two different things. When the part that goes under the uh, right arm is ready, you want to put it on top of the belt that's already there. The part that's going underneath your left, you want to tuck it underneath so that now the belt looks like one solid thick belt. The left part went under, the right part went over. Essentially now you have three sections of belts. You have the top, the middle, and the back. You want to take the top one and go around all of the different belt levels. What that now means is you have two sections again surrounding all three belts. Some people only go around the front one and the knot will sag. Once you do that, you snug it up and you take the one that's on top or the left, go over the bottom one that's on the right, on top of, again, not the other way, make sure it goes on top, bring the end through the hole, and snug it up. Now, before I do that, I want to mention that when you're snugging it up, you want, we have a little a rhyme for the kids. We tell them sometimes the rabbit jumps over the hill and then comes out the rabbit hole. And you pull it tight, you're going to have a little dimple in the front, and both ends of the belt are coming out on the sides, not one down, not one up, not unevenly. Now another important part to remember is when we are tying our belt, we, we are going to have maybe uh, tape or tips on our belt because we've points tested or pre-tested. So we're going to pretend that that tape is the part that says Master Garino. When you do anything with tape on your belt, make sure that that goes under the left side. So I'm putting the Master Garino part under my left arm. What you're going to do then is bring it all the way around and tie it like we just described. You'll notice that when we're doing this, the part with the tape or the Master Greeno parts on top, fold it over, take the rabbit out through the rabbit hole, bring it in, snug it up, and now the tape will end up on the right side, which at our school is where we want your, your uh, points tape. If you have any questions, make sure that you talk to a black belt or an instructor and practice many times because, you know, if you tie your belt properly, you're showing you secure about your martial art. If you have a proper knot, you have proper martial arts. A sloppy belt tie, sloppy martial arts, sloppy martial artist. We don't want that at Master Greeno's Taekwondo. So good luck in practice tying your belt. Pilsung.